Hello everyone, welcome to Master Today's step by step guide. In this short video tutorial, I am going to show you how to check your website is being registered in Google or not and check if there are any issues on your site. I will show you step by step how do I solve my missing item error in the breadcrumb. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, let's start. Search for the Google Search Console in the Google. I am logging with my Gmail account master to this. Open the Google Search account page. Click the Start Now button. Make sure to recheck your accounts. I have a new website master2teach.com which is showing 129 web search pages click. 0 pages with errors and 265 valid pages. Mobile usability is all fine but it's showing 72 errors in breadcrumbs. Now inspect the URL. I am starting from home page. Okay, it's showing URL is on Google. It can appear in Google search results. Everything seems alright. Now let's check the live URL. Yeah, URL is available on Google. All is fine. No error on the home page. Let's see the crawl page. Yeah, all is fine here. In the new tab, let's open my site master This is my new website where you can find lots of learning materials and guides. You can see I have already included Google AdSense on the site. YouTube video. Here are AWS Cloud Practitioner sample question and answer, software engineering courses, Kokomo model, functional point. Let's open functional point and check the status. You can see I have mentioned all the required guides step by steps. Now let's copy the URL and paste it for the inspection. Hmm, URL is on Google but has issues. Let's check what is an issue. In breadcrumb, there is an issue. Let's check in details. It's showing one invalid item detected. Unnamed item. In breadcrumb, there is a missing field item. Other seems all fine, but only one missing item in the breadcrumb. Let's test the live URL. It's showing the same error. Unnamed item. Missing field item in the breadcrumb. On the home page, there is no breadcrumb, so that home page has no breadcrumb issues. Everything seems fine, except the breadcrumb. Let's view the tested page. Now let's go for the code check. Opening my site in Google Chrome browser, Right click and inspect the site.
the number of items is 2 and then item list order is in ascending. In breadcrumbs, there is a name as function point, position as 2. Yeah, could not find any meta tags with the name items. There is a missing items in the breadcrumb. I tried to find out the solution on Google, but could not find the proper solution for it. Since I am using a free website team, I could not get any support from the team owner as well. I search in Google Developer and find out the syntax to add the item in the breadcrumb. And it should be contained in all positions except the last one. Now let's close it and go for the solution. My site is hosted in Namecheap. Let's log in in Namecheap accounts to access my cPanel. You can open your cPanel and click on File Manager. I have made my site in WordPress. Go to the WP Contents folder. Then theme. I am using Corporate Education Free WordPress theme. In your theme folder, open the NIC folder. Here you will get breadcom-class.php file. Select it and click on edit at the top. Scroll it down. I know that it's not good practice to edit the theme file. It will overwrite as we update the theme. But I am using the free themes and could not wait for the update and solution from the theme owner. So make backup and redo it whenever you have updated the theme. Scroll the file and find the item pro keyword. This is the place where we are going to add the item after the name. Let's convert to ternary operator to if else statement. If not empty dollar matches dollar item is equal to true statement. Else, dollar item is equal to false statement. Now we need the string that contains the item. Let's reopen the site and again go to the same page. Functional point. Inspect the site in the breadcrumb section. There is ASREF tag. To copy it, right click and click in edit as HTML. Just copy the SREF string. In the code section, let's paste in the comment section for the reference. For this string, we have to retrieve the URL only. First, let's find out the position of 
colon from the above string. Dollar first position is equal to strpos from the matches dollar matches and the position of colon. Whereas last position is equal to strpos dollar matches from the first position we need to place in item dollar main item substring dollar matches first position which is position of colon so we have to retry from yes so that there are 1 2 3 4 5 so we have to minus 5 so that we will get the string from yes to last position minus first position plus 5 so that we can get all the URL for the item. Now let's add the meta tags just after the name item pro. Syntax to add item meta item from item pro is equal to item prop is equal to item content is equal to modulus s close meta tag at in add the main item variable which contain the item url string else is executed for the in breadcrumb where we just need to place the item let's add some comments for the clarification Seems all done now. Let's save our code. Rechecking. It's time to check it out in Google Search Console. Copy the same URL and paste inspect it again. Oops, it's showing the same error. Still showing this missing item in breadcrumb. Even we have already added the items in the breadcrumb. Let's try with the live URL. Yes, it's solved. One valid item detected. Valid item are eligible for Google search rich result. Yes, there are the item in the breadcrumb now.
Let's check the home page again if there are any issues reflected on it or not. Yep, there are no issues at all. Let's try with the another page URL. Okay, let's check the page why project are late. Copy the URL and paste it for the inspection. Hmm, it's showing the issues. I am quite sure that Google is inspecting the page from the cache. Let's try directly live URL. Yeah, it's all fine. And there are no issues and the page is available on Google. So, I hope that you learned from this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comment, please be sure to leave us a comment and let us know. Also, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out for more in IT tutorials and guide in website master2tease.com and we will see you again soon. Bye.